Bro, what is his magic, bro? Yo, what is up, guys, and welcome back. I'm Jacob, and we're about to get into another episode of Black Clover here. And in the last episode, uh, we got kind of interesting, actually. So, um, of course, you know, this Royal Knights exam is actually about to start. And now, Asta's on a team with Mimosa, who, you know, he knows, kind of, but mostly <laughs> she's, uh, you know, on the Golden Dawn with you know. But, you know, he's been on a mission with her one or two times, so... Uh, that's good chemistry right there, but also he's on a team with, uh, and again, I know this is not his actual name, he just stole it from the, uh, the vice captain of the Purple Orcas, but until we actually learn, you know, his name, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna call him Xerx. Uh, so, um, so he's on a team with Mimosa and Xerx, right? Um, so I'm really actually interested to find out what exactly Xerx's magic is, because... He absolutely just destroyed the vice captain of the purple orcas. Um, and yeah, so now he's on his team. So they kind of got like the powerhouse, the powerhouse um, team going on right now. Uh, with Mimosa, of course, the support and healer. Uh, Asta, the guy who can take away your magic. And then Xerx, uh, kind of the wild card question mark right now, I guess. Um, but yeah, I mean, right now, first round, they're going up against of uh, B-listers, you know, extras, a bunch of nobodies. Uh, but eventually, if they make it that far, and if Yuno's team make it, makes it that far, then eventually they're going to be able to meet up in the finals. Uh, but speaking of Yuno's team, actually, uh, you know, Noel's actually on his team, so I feel like that's going to be very interesting. Uh, I don't remember who the other person was, but I don't think it's somebody we met yet. Um, but I'm really interested to see how this, uh, this tournament's going to go. Uh, you know, the Royal Knights, who's going to get in, who's not going to get in. Um, but I, I'm assuming Captain's probably like auto qualify i'm assuming um because i as far as i saw i didn't see any of them on any team so i'm assuming they just automatically qualify to be royal knights but i'm really interested to get into this tournament here to finally see uh what's going to happen because we know it's kind of like a, a capture the flag style situation here except instead of flags you got crystals you got to destroy uh from the enemy team but yeah without further ado i think we should just jump right into it and if you guys want to see more reactions to Black Clover, then make sure you hit the subscribe and the like button and click that notification bell to be notified when I release more content. And check out all the links down below for the social medias and leave a comment. You know, what do you guys think about this episode? What are you thinking about uh, this whole Royal Knights tournament kind of thing? And uh, what about this, uh, again, no, it's not his real name, Zerk's character. Um, really, he's very interesting, I'll say that. Um, but, well, you know, I'd really love to hear all your guys' thoughts and opinions down below, so let me know. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, let's just jump right into Black Clover, episode 74. Alright, episode 74, Flower of Resolution. I'm wondering if that has to do anything with Mimosa, because if I'm remembering correctly, one of her moves was a giant <laughs> flower that just... Or maybe I remember that from the opening or something. I don't know. Let's go, given their encouragement. <laughs> she just, she's just still sitting on his lap. As if that's not the Wizard King. So, I'm wondering if we're going to get to see, like, every single fight. Because I know, like, I would love to see, you know, Magnus fight, Lux fight, the rest of the Black Bulls, honestly. But, uh, I'm wondering if maybe it's just going to be Asta and you know. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Mimosa and Asta are pretty well acquainted, but, yeah, support plant magic, but... Are we gonna learn Xerxes' magic here? Oh, dang, it started already? Okay, so someone has long distance fire magic. And thermal vision, I guess! What the heck? My man is equipped like SEAL Team 6 over here. Oh, 
Dang. Who is scared of Curtis? Ooh, beware of Curtis. Okay, that, I will admit, that is a pretty cool combination of abilities, though. I would love to see some, uh, combinate. oh, okay. <laughs> Come on, man. I was about to say, I'd love to see some combinations from, uh, you know, some guys we already know. Okay. Yeah, he's just here to watch other people fail, right? <laughs> Dang, I feel that. <laughs> it's just, it's too out there to be, like, not a strategy. That's what they're thinking. Magic flower. Okay. Right, she can make a map. Can he reflect it back? Nice, very nice. Yeah. I mean, yeah, makes sense. Mimosa with her plant magic is not really able to block the crystal. You know, fire beats plants there, so... <laughs> uh, Asta's really the only one who can kind of uh, deflect and cut through attacks. Oh, oh, they're bringing the crystal with them. I didn't even know that was something you could do. Okay. No, he's just... <laughs> he's just actually just chilling and sleeping. Because <laughs> he's such a Chad, bro. I mean, yeah, that's smart. With nobody able to just, like, stay back and defend, why not just bring your crystal with you? <laughs> oh, we learned that... She... Oh, yeah, I remember. Yeah, she was learning some attack spells, too, not just support stuff. She said that last episode. Ah, okay. Alright, I don't know if that really hurt the crystal, but it at least put them on, on guard. Magic cannon flower, alright. Also, one of them has rock magic. Curtis does. <laughs> and then the other one has uh, flame magic. So what's up with this third guy here? He has like, he has like super eye vision magic or something? Yeah, okay. Not for you. <laughs> no. I'll give you nummies when we win. Yeah, I would tr not try to get close to him. Dang, so Asta is just like, you know, rumors of him and his anti-magic is just kind of like floating around the kingdom then, huh? He's getting kind of famous here. Oh. Alright, Curtis has got it. Oh, they baited him. 
Uh, they baited them into trying to follow Curtis. What? Wait, whoa, what? Is this the third guy's magic? The guy with the night vision goggles? What the heck? Is it like paral- Yeah, it's like paralysis magic. What the heck? Dang, is it- Is it just up to Mimosa now? Oh, gosh. Alright, Xerx, if you're gonna help, bro, this would be the time. Like... Yeah, it, wait. Bro, what is his magic, bro? Wait, it's reversing towards them? What? What? It, bro, what? And he just took all of them out. And also, why did he help? I thought he didn't care. Or maybe that was just a trick. Maybe he does care? And if so, what is he after? Yeah, See, Curtis is a G. Curtis can withstand it. Dude, right, they just completely forgot about him. Ash magic? Oh, it was... Oh, it, it was his! Huh. Wait, so Ash magic, he turned... How does that have to do with, like, reflecting their magic back towards them? Bro. <laughs> Psych. <laughs> Dang. So. Dang. Okay. Well, they win. But w what is the extent to what he can do with Ash magic? So is what we just saw there like he turned their magic to Ash? He powered up his opponent's attacks and reflected it. How does that... How is that ash magic, though? Yeah, nice teamwork. Well, I mean, yeah, the rules are rules. You're allowed to do anything but kill them. Yeah, there was no teamwork. I... Is that really a saying, though? Is that a say What? Oh, what the... ワイ。ワイ。ワイ。ワイ。ワイ。ワイ。ワイ。ワイ。ワイ。ワイ。ワイ。ワイ。ワイ。ワイ。ワイ。ワイ。ワイ。ワイ。ワイ。ワイ。
you can set traps from long range, maybe? Although, if that's the case, that seems super overpowered. Also, I will point out, if it's just like... Huh. I don't... Actually, I don't know. I was gonna say, if it's like a counter spell, then if he fights somebody like Asta, who doesn't use spells, then will it, like, will it even work on him? But again, we did just see him get paralyzed, so I don't... I don't know. Giant lady. Oh, is that their other teammate? Vermilion. Oh, okay. So is yeah, he's related to Mimosa. Is he her brother or are they sibling? Yeah, siblings. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't even see, a, you know, a squad's crest on him. What squad is he from? Dang. Petito Plover! And she was, yeah. But, what? She's saying the name of the show? She's training? Oh, okay, this is like a training montage. Ping pong! <laughs> Dang, dude, if somebody was able to do that with ping pong. All right, that was kind of interesting. So Asta and his team finally got their first win, although not under the circumstances they probably would have wanted to. Um, Xerx is the wild, if is a wild card if I've, I've ever seen one, dude, because <laughs> he just starts up the fight just. Yeah, I'm just gonna chill here and just, uh, take a nap real quick. Mm, yeah, and he just, <laughs> he just goes to sleep for, like, the entire match, basically, until the very end, when Asta sets off one of his traps, I, yeah, I guess on purpose, which activates another trap around Asta, which throws back his opponent's spells that double the, uh, the attack power. So, I mean, if it works, it works, honestly. But, you know, him talking about, like, oh, a great teamwork, guys. Like, nah, bro. It, it wasn't teamwork. I mean, it worked. Yeah. But there was no teamwork in there. Um, but, yeah, very interesting. So, we got a little bit uh, of, you know, his magic here. Getting to figure out what that was. Mimosa said it was Ash magic. I don't really know... <laughs> I don't know how that correlates to what I just saw there with his magic. Um, I don't know. I would say it's more like trap ma magic, I guess. Because uh, he set a trap for Asta, and that kind of, like, set off another trap for the people who were attacking him. Or, like, counter magic, I guess. I don't know. Something like that. Uh, very interesting. I don't... Dang. That's kind of interesting to, to see how that'll play out with, like, other squads in the future, especially, uh, you know, for people we actually know, like Magna, Luck, uh, I don't know, even you know along the line eventually when, you know, I'm assuming they're both going to get to the finals. Um, but yeah, very, very interesting uh, to see his magic and to see, you know, how, how this team kind of worked together, or, you know, I guess I should say didn't work together. Um... But yeah, now Asta and, you know, Mimosa and Xerx are past the first stage of the Royal Knights exam, and they're moving on to the second stage. But I'm assuming next episode's gonna be a Yuno episode, you know, obviously with Noel, and uh, uh, I didn't catch his name, but he is a Vermilion who... <laughs> super glamorous Vermilion, I guess. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see Yuno and Noel kind of side by side, um... And to see exactly how they're going to work together. You know, I really love combination magic. I really love different combinations of different magics. Um, so we got to see a little bit of that with the, you know, the rock magic and the fire magic. They made a crossbow. Um, so that was kind of interesting. But uh, I'm really interested to see, you know, how people we actually know work together and use their magic together. So I'm excited for next episode. Excited for the future of the Royal Knights exam. And to see where this is all going. And if you guys want to see more reactions to Black Clover, then make sure you like and subscribe and click that notification bell to be notified when I release more content. And check out all the links down below 
for the social media and you know leave a comment what did you guys think about this episode you know we kind of got revealed to uh what exactly Xerxes is again no it's not his real name you know his magic kind of is so uh i would love to hear you guys' thoughts down below on uh what you think uh, you know, how they're going to move forward into this, uh, you know, the second stage of the Royal Knights exam, when, especially when he's not exactly a, a, you know, a team player. So I, I would really love to hear your guys' thoughts down below. Uh, but I'm really excited for the next episode, and I will see you guys in that next episode. Peace.